You hello everybody today we are going to speak about the supply chain of banana and what makes it so special. Banana is truly a tropical crop with varieties of usages right from promoting digestive health to boosting memories. And not only that they are very cheap in comparison to the other fruits. It's fascinating to know that banana has high requirements for production and is labor intensive they require tropic climate which falls in this region. Ecuador has a high number of banana plantations and they have banana exports which contributes about 2% of their GDP, and their export represent approximately 25% of the world's export. Compare it with price of orange and apple in USA which is grown in their own states, orange costs about $4 per kg and apple can make a dent of about $4.5 a kg, banana on other hand costs, about $1.57 a kg. Let's look at supply chain of banana to understand it. There are seven stages to ripen banana. For example, consider a banana in Costa Rica to be shipped. Banana is plucked at the first stage and then they are thoroughly packed after inspection. They are then containerized in a special container on ship called as reefer which are refrigerated containers. These containers have temperature control where the bananas are kept in temperature no less than 13.3 degrees Celsius. Then they are shipped to US within two days which is about 1120 miles in distance. Ethylene gas spray is done at stage two when it reaches the destinated port. Port to the local grocery store transport will see the stages 3, 4, 5 of banana ripening. The total process time from the end of the plantation to the receiving of banana in local grocery stores takes around 2 to 3 weeks of time. Thus, economies of scale, planning controls coupled with efficient and cheap global shipping industry has made sure that we could avail banana as our source of health without much cost. That's all for today people. Please like share and comment if you wish to support this video.